दामिनी घोष हमारे साथ मौजूद हैं विधि लीगल से जुड़ी हुई हैं रिसर्च बहुत की है इस वर्ग के लिए आप लोगों ने तमाम नीतियाँ बनती हैं ऐलान होते हैं कानून के बारे में भी अगर कुछ है भी तो भी लोगों को पता नहीं है जो ये दिव्यांग वर्ग है ज़रा बताइए क्या सिचुएशन आपने ज़मीन पर पाई श्योर थैंक यू सो लिटिल बिट अबाउट दी सेंटर फॉर लीगल पॉलिसी वी वर सेट अप इन 2013 थाउजेंड थर्टीन एज अ लीगल रिसर्च थिंक टैंक टू मेक बेटर लॉज एंड इम्प्रूव गवर्नेंस एंड दो आर वर्क ऑन वेल वी वर्क ऑन डाइवर्स प्रैक्टिस एरियाज डिसबिलिटी समथिंग विच वी हैव स्टार्टेड लुकिंग एट मोर रिसेंटली एंड वन ऑफ द एस्पेक्ट्स विच वी हैव कवर्ड इज एक्सेसिबिलिटी पर्टिकुलरली एक्सेस टू अर्बन स्पेसिस एंड रियली द वर्क इज अबाउट ओरिजिनल इंडिपेंडेंट लीगल रिसर्च टू अंडरस्टैंड द बैरियर्स इन आर अर्बन स्पेसिस which when they interact with the impairments of a person with disability and how they hamper that person from leading an independent life of their choice so i think one of the main uh, findings which came out through the course of last few years where we've done this work is specifically um, in the context of access to cities has been that the law is there uh, the rights of persons with disabilities act as a robust legal framework it reflects the our commitments under the uncrpd but one of the issues that came out was that lot of the enforcement machinery within the law itself which is your uh, scpds your district level committees the special courts when when framework like that has already been re been provided under the legislation why is it that those have still not been put in place right um the requirement of having accessibility standards uh, for services and facilities which a city can offer right this is across sectors why have all those accessibility standards and requirements not been enacted till more recently right we now see a spate of uh, initiatives being uh, rolled out uh, by the government so i would say that while the framework is there a lot of the details within the framework need to be uh, acted upon as nipun said that the law was there it the framework is laid out now we really need to uh, take action Just a quick short question uh, 119 laws which were discriminatory yes aap logo ki dwara sansha dwara unko hataya gaya thoda sa bataiye yes. iske bare mein this was in relation to laws which had ableist provisions uh, which discriminated against persons with leprosy so it started as an exercise of us uh, doing a full blown legal analysis uh, finding it out and then we had all this research and uh, but the question is what is the impact of that research where is it going from there and one option is of course we can approach uh, different government departments across states and do it on a piece by piece basis which is a very very time consuming process uh it we also felt at that time this was some time back uh, that filing a more strategic litigation before the supreme court to take note of uh, this exercise actually had a huge impact it uh, set a precedent which sort of triggered a movement within various state governments to start um, repealing these kind of discriminatory uh, provisions absolutely just wanted to ask you itself like uh, what is this next level of uh, act, uh, you know policies or frameworks that you're working on okay so uh, right now a lot of the work as uh, i was mentioning has been generally on access to urban spaces yeah. and we and what has to be remembered with disability is uh, when i talk as a lawyer is that it cuts across practice areas you know there is a whole component of access to urban spaces then there's health education early intervention sports you name it so it cuts across the second uh, aspect which one needs to keep in mind is that the implementation or the framework itself is spread across the central the state as well as the local levels so there is a lot going on in that sense and uh, what we feel is that uh, while we lot of our work has been general now we've sort of started uh, narrowing down on specific areas of intervention so lot of our uh, work has been about focusing on say parks on making inclusive play spaces or uh, to sort of put together representations on making buses accessible we would have seen there has been a lot of talk about uh, buses in over the last few months whether in karnataka or uh, at a national level how when we are procuring uh, buses at the start itself can we have 
um, uh, can we have a framework where accessibility measures are already incorporated rather than an after rather than as an afterthought i wanted to just ask uh, both of them like how the urban space and you know the center vb center has been influencing the kind of framework uh, your research influences to the government and how do you kind of take it up like how does the research made an impact as i mentioned earlier the core of our work is research then after research the next step that comes is dissemination which is taking it to all stakeholders which is not just government but even public stakeholders our collaborators our partners and after that comes for us impact is if we are able to convert that research into an engagement with the government so typically in my uh, experience at uh, vidhi uh when we go take our work to particular stakeholders who are willing to make change uh within the government uh sometimes uh they may take it up immediately sometimes they may come back in a few years time saying that aapne ye bola tha ab hame karna hai sometimes it may happen they'll say okay we don't want to do this but can you please help us out with this instead this is the need of them so the and and there are often times where we actually constantly engage we are in touch we stay relevant we put our work out there to understand what is it that the government is interested in doing whether it's at the center at the state level and we uh, take forward our research to them so there are different ways to sort of engage with the government and see uh, what comes out so uh, in fact more recently uh, we were interacting with the um, ministry of social justice and empowerment so uh, and we had gone for, to talk about some of our present research work and it ultimately culminated into putting together a case compendium for all supreme court and high court judgments because the need was felt to sensitize persons with disabilities their caregivers and even persons without disabilities about the contours of the rights of persons with disabilities act and what the courts have had to say about it so engagements and impact can translate into different different ways